If you've been following me for a while, you know that I am a self-portrait photographer, which means I take my own pictures, like Frida Kahlo. And today I'm gonna show you how you can take your very own pictures and how you can shoot your very own high fashion editorial from the comfort of your bedroom. I've challenged myself to use nothing but paper. That means no props, no clothing, no lighting, and only paper as backdrops and as clothing. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna find a space that we can shoot in. I like to shoot from the comfort of my bedroom because I'm an introvert and I like to not leave my bedroom and I'm gonna be using all backdrops from Savage Universal which are 53 inches wide so you don't really need that much space you just need some clear space and a light and a room that's well lit right now you see me setting up my backdrop stand which I got from Savage Universal and the backdrop papers that I'm using are also from Savage Universal and the first one that I'll be using is one in the color brown I like to do a layering effect with my photography and as we go along you'll see exactly what i mean so today i'll be using the clouds i'll be using the brown and as you see me setting up my second backdrop stand i'll also be using orange savage universal sent me a bunch of backdrop papers and I just thought that I would create something a little bit more whimsical than I usually do that's inspired by some of the things some of the themes that have just been inspiring me lately I've been doing a lot of ballet so my very first shoot is gonna be inspired by my love for ballet and it's gonna also be a reinterpretation of what it means to be a black ballerina and what exactly a black swan looks like. So now I'm about to cut up my backdrop paper to create that layered effect that I was telling you about. And you're probably wondering who in their right mind would cut up a backdrop paper that they just bought. But the amazing thing about Savage Universal backdrop papers is that they're so long, you can actually tear them apart and destroy them and you'll still have more than enough for dozens of other shoots. So here we have it and you probably think this looks a hot mess what kind of horrific art project is this but you have to remember that once you zoom in and you framed everything correctly then it actually turns out quite well and this is the final result it's a black ballerina barbie bobo wow is that alliteration like am i a poet <laughs> But also I took some outfit pictures just to see how this would photograph with some actual real clothes and I think it did quite well so here's the final result. For our second look I was inspired by whimsical utopias. I've been watching a lot of cartoons and I've also been thinking a lot about global warming because as you know we are in the middle of an apocalypse and the world is ending. So I like to imagine and think to myself what would the world be if capitalism wasn't destroying us and poisoning us and this is the utopia that I've come up with. Bright pastel colors, very Alice in Wonderland but make it fashion, very Alice in Wonderland but make it black and so I've come up with some pastel colors some blue some yellow some lemon tones and I cut it up and here is the final result and it was actually so hot filming this that the papers were sliding off my body as I was shooting so I didn't get to do that many shots but alas I think it turned out quite well I also went ahead and shot some outfit pictures and I used the orange circle that I cut out from the first shoot and I think it blended in quite well. I think it represents the sun. And for our third and final shoot, all I'm gonna do is replace this yellow, this yellow backdrop, which by the way, it's called sand. All I'm gonna do is replace this yellow backdrop and replace it with a pink one in the name Tulip. And then I just stuck some pink sheets of shiny paper on me and that was the look. I'm actually not a fan of this one at all, but honestly, that's just what happens sometimes in photography. You have an idea and it doesn't photograph the same way that you thought it looked in your head. And life is not a highlight reel, so I just thought I would show it to you anyway. And here's the final result. 
So here we have it, guys. We have Bobo the ballerina. We have Alice in Wonderland or Bobo in Wonderland. And then we have Bobo in some outfits. All of these outfits are from an online boutique called Angels Landing. I'll link it in the description below. And I'll also go ahead and link everything that I used as far as backdrops and backdrop stands in the description below go ahead and follow me on instagram don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye